out uh, for a couple of nights camping um, down towards Collie and then uh, back uh, behind Wally Dam. Yeah. Going rock climbing. Going rock climbing. Hiking. Might, bit of hiking. Got the rods in the car. Might uh, might with a line. Just uh, see if we can find some trout. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon. Paddle boarding. Oh, I've got the paddle board. Yeah. Just generally getting up to some mischief. Looking forward to it. So we got the cam trailer on. Haven't had it out for a little while, have we? <laughs> Not for a long while. Yeah, for a long while. Poor, yeah. poor thing. Yeah. We have been busy settling in in our new place. So. Um, but yeah, we'll see you when we get to the campground. See you. All right, so we're out here, sweetheart, at the campground. <laughs> yeah. Just just pulled up, so um, yeah, we've just kind of rocked up, just figuring out uh, where we're going to park the uh, vehicle. Uh, so we've set up the trailer over here. We've got a uh, air, um, what is it, Oppo? Opus. Opus. Um, so yeah, we're just going to show you guys how to set this up because it's an air tent or a pneumatic tent. So we're going to basically push a button, hopefully, and the whole thing just fills full of air, and it's basically going to set itself up in about eight to ten minutes. Yeah. Saves all spousal disputes. Yes, no, There's no, no arguing. <laughs> It's all up now. Hey guys, so we just about finished setting up. I'll give us a quick tour. Little outdoor area and my couch that everyone makes fun of. And it's bloody damn comfortable. We've got our office light tent. Nice little kitchen area. Plenty of space. You're literally packing everything, including the kitchen sink here. A couple of tables, boxes of food, and everything else we may need. Then inside, nice big bed area, and nice little chill out, chill out lounge as well. Uh, it is very tall, but well, I can't reach the top, so plenty of space. So why haven't we have a, had a drink yet? What was our rookie mistake of the day? Um, someone didn't put the beers in the <laughs> um, trailer fridge when we picked them up a couple of hours ago. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it does come with a massive fridge. The person who bought it off did a very good job in setting all of this up. So we've got a huge fridge, plenty of space for everything. We can have one side freezer, other side fridge. Going for a bourbon or you want a cheeky, uh, cheeky monkey? Let's go for ginger beer. Ginger beer, let's go for a ginger beer. We found these ginger beers. Cheeky monkey. <coughs> Not a bad little drop. Yeah, quite spicy. Really nice. Very nice. All right, I think we've had a bit of a walk around here. Pretty good little pad. Very comfortable for the next three or four days. Yeah. Right, we're going to finish setting up and um, have a drink and do something with dinner, right? Eh?
Mm. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good. What are we up to? Making breakfast. Making breakfast. Bacon and egg breakfast. Woo! <laughs> this look pretty fancy. Look at this. Berries and avocado. Mm -hmm. Looking very good. So I've cooked breakfast. Huh? And the good man. Doing all the dishes for me. <laughs> you do the cooking, sweetheart. You know I'll do the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's good. I'll keep him. <laughs> Just got into um, Collie, about to go for a bit of a wander around. Uh, Amanda's on the phone at the moment, but uh, yeah, just grabbed a uh, coffee from uh, the wagon. Uh, pretty cool little place. Um, been here before. They've just turned a uh, train wagon into a coffee shop, which is pretty neat. It's on the main street in Collie. If you guys are calling in, it's a pretty good coffee. Little snacks and that as well, but yeah. Amanda's really embarrassed because we're out here in public. YouTubing ourselves, videoing ourselves, like you know, those those wankers. Yeah, we bring those people. <laughs> We're gonna go and do the art trail in uh, Collie in that. Um, so we've got uh, got it on the app on the All Trails uh, app, which is a walking app, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, it's about what three three and a half k. No, six point six k. Oh, six point six k. Yep. So we're gonna go and do that. They reckon it's only a couple of hours, and uh, we're starting in town here with one of the one of the murals behind us. So um, yeah. Wish us luck. Amanda's just told me I'm not allowed on the trains and then I that walk a little bit closer <laughs> and there's that big sign there that stink how cool would it be to get up on some of these big old trains beautiful pretty neat just to be able to walk around them yeah. bit of history quite a bit of history around uh, Collie and that old uh, Timber milling and that, lots of mining around here as well, lots of coal, different types of ore, power stations, things like that. So, yeah. One of the hotels that I saw dates back to 1898. 1898? Yeah. Very neat. One little uh, museum along the way, so let's kind of have a wander around. I have to be quiet. Shh.
over halfway around at the moment and uh, we saw this one as we drove in we think uh, it's probably mine and Amanda's favorite so far it's um, very interesting how it's been done hopefully we can get a bit of this on the camera you right very very freaky Pretty cool how it's been painted. Doesn't look like a lot when you're up close like this here, but when you stand back, it's pretty amazing. Definitely my favourite one here in Collie. Right, we've just done the six and a half k walk around uh, Collie. How was yep. it? Toasty. Toasty. Toasty warm, yes. A bit of a but warm. it was really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Worth it? Yes. Yeah, no, it's pretty good. Not just seeing the uh, artwork, but all the um, architecture that they got around, yeah. eh? Yeah, lots of different eras, you can tell. Um, around. Yeah. The only th uh, recommendation I would say is it told us an hour and a half. It's not an hour and a half walk. Yeah. Uh, give yourself a good probably three or four hours, especially if you're going to stop along the way, eh? Yeah. <laughs> right, we're going to have a coffee and find a bit of air con before we uh, head back and take the paddleboard out. Now this is living. I get to sit on the board. <laughs> and I get to paddle. Yes. I've got a kid. We've got a different paddle this time. We've got a proper proper oar we just went and bought it so yeah, we can double uh, paddle both ways yeah so that's a little bit easier so yeah where's the island sweetheart where do we think the island is there i think, you think is it there i think it's is there, it there? Is it? it's to the right a bit more is it? well well, we'll a, work it out we'll start. see we, there. we think there's an island out there somewhere mm. and we're going for a paddle to it I did help a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually told to stop paddling so much. Isn't that right, sweetheart? I did say just <laughs> relax for a little bit. <laughs> nice and uh, cruisy at the moment. We're quite literally out in the middle of a lake. It's pretty cool. It's very, very calm at the moment. It's gorgeous. Mm. It's a little bit choppy this morning with the wind, but it's just died off. There's no breeze at the moment. It yeah. is lovely. Mm -hmm. So we found out today that this lake was um, not an abandoned mine. It's an old mining mm. pit that has been turned into a lake. It's a man-made lake. Yeah. Uh, minerals and things like that. There's quite a few along uh, along this kind of area. I don't actually know how deep it is, but it's pretty deep. Mm. It does warn about deep cold water. So, yeah, no idea how deep it is. We should find out. That's probably why uh, along the edges you can see the see the shoreline and it drops away. So it must be the baffles as they were. Uh, the batters when they were um, digging in that so um, mm. pretty cool that they've managed to turn it back into something as beautiful as this you can fish in here um, water ski things like that there so it's pretty neat yeah and it's huge it's huge massive it's massive, huge. massive lake. well i'm from new zealand it's not that big compared to those lakes but <laughs> it's pretty big for uh for australia and wa yeah it's pretty cool so we made it to the island well, kind of. Kind of. <laughs> no island access. Yeah. We finally found the boat ramp. So that's the island behind us. So we're just pulling up at the beach here. It's like some nice little barbecue areas. Because we've come from way back there. It must get quite a crowd here at summer, the amount of weasels that they've kind of um, yeah. put here, eh? It's all very new, very flash. They've done a fantastic job out here.
GoPro, the old GoPro. This is on a floaty stick, so let's kind of see what happens if I just throw you up in the air. Oh, yep, you floated. That's good. Hey. Hey, sweetheart. So I just wanted to give a big shout out to Caroline, a um, good friend of mine. She is the one who actually suggested this place to us. She did? Yeah, and we didn't know where to come. A lot of the places around here don't allow caravans or camper trailers. And somehow we completely missed this one. And yeah, she recommended this one. and. I think this is going in the top five so far. Yeah, it's going to be one of our spots, I think. So yeah. thank you very much, Caroline. Thank it's you. you. Cheers. Cheers. I wanted to say another thank you to Caroline for this place. Hopefully next time we can all come down here together. She's a great friend. She's been there through the good, the bad, the ugly. She's always been there. Close friendships really need to be nurtured. I know I need to make a bigger effort, much bigger effort. To see her on a more regular basis, check in with her, make sure that she's okay. Is it the friendship I never want to lose? But remember, family doesn't have to be blood, family is who you choose. And she is my family. Um, yeah. Something I definitely need to make a bigger, bigger effort at. But if you're watching this, Caroline, thank you. I love you. And hopefully, I'll see you soon.